this week I want to go down low we're gonna look at my top 10 perennials to use in your permaculture orchard or your fruit planting stay tuned Perennial arugula. If you like arugula, <laughs> this is powerhouse arugula. When it's in flower, you can eat the flowers. They're nice, very spicy, quite hot at times, especially in the summer. Otherwise, the greens, and if you've ever tried these, you know that you only need a few leaves to completely change your salad. So, some of these perennial vegetables. You can consider more like spices than a main ingredient. You definitely would not want to have a whole salad of arugula because this gets to be pretty hot unless you really like hot. Easy to grow. Look at that. It's starting to reseed. Just to, oh, just to show you that one. It has a root like a dandelion. So it, it Get settled, very easy. We've now got it growing in the grassy aisles. We don't plant it anymore. It plants itself very easily. Great plant to have, perennial arugula. In the jungle, a great plant to have in your perennial layer is daylilies. I first heard about daylilies as edible in a gourmet cookbook and they talked about daylilies you can eat the green shoots early in the spring you can eat the roots or the tubers but especially you can eat the flowers we focus on the flowers so we pick them it's past the prime of the season now they're dried up but when they're in flower the, the buds are great they're a day lily so each stage lasts for just one day stir fry fresh eating really good many many cultivars none of them that i know of are toxic so eat away at this time of year they're finishing flowering but oregano oregano very easy to grow if you cook with it then certainly grow your own. It doesn't take a lot. This is one clump again and it will spread and multiply and even seed into the aisle. Another easy one to grow. Easy, easy, peasy. Oregano. A bed of thyme. Thyme, this is one plant growing a meter by half a meter backed up by this asparagus. I don't consider asparagus the top 10 because it grows as tall as a shrub. So certainly not a perennial, you can grow it as a shrub. But thyme and most of the fine herbs, great to grow. I love going through this with the mower and chopping off some thyme. You know right away that it's thyme time. So get some thyme, grow some thyme, eat some thyme, and sometime come on by and visit. Off to the next one. I really want to be like a cat and catnip and just roll in this. Anytime you touch it, it just smells so good. If you have an area that's a little moister, keeps a bit of moisture, maybe a heavier clay area, get some mint. You say, well, that, that will spread like a weed. Well, that's what you want. You want plants that will grow like weeds because there's nothing easier than a plant that takes over so if you have a plant like mint that takes over count yourself fortunate great for having fresh a little bit in salads have it in a herbal tea dry some up for the winter and you will really enjoy a great taste of summer with some fantastic mints and there is all kinds we have two moroccan mint and a chocolate mint 
and they grow really well. Here's one I really enjoy. What does this look like? It looks like a shallot. These are perennial shallots and they produce a little bulb, but they produce great greens at a couple of times a year. So the stems themselves dry down now. Here's the seed head. And as soon as they're done, the greens come up. Let's see if I can dig up some bulbs. Nope. 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 <laughs> Can't get the bulbs today. So you do use them just as, as a green. Great for the, the kitchen. Anywhere you'd be using shallots, these are a great complement. Again, the onion family, perennial shallots or perennial scallions. Try it. One of the top 10, Egyptian onion. Very productive. Right now, not, not at all in the greens, but right now it's in the little bulb stage. So you get all these little bulbs, and let me tell you, one of these little powerhouses... ...is as strong as a great big softball size onion. So there's a lot of punch in these little guys, don't underestimate them. That's these, which are very easy to plant. Go see last week's video on Just Start we talk about the perennial layer. And you can always harvest the bulbs, so they produce a, a really nice uh, onion bulb as well. Our general rule is people come to pick, we say leave two and take anything else extra if you want to eat the bulbs. So that's a harvest. So you got the little bulbs, the big bulbs, and then in the spring, and also later in the fall, we'll have green shoots that are basically you can use as shallots. They're green onion. So there's another one, Egyptian onion. So chives, fantastic top 10 plant. Here's one clump that was harvested. You see very few flower stems. This clump wasn't even harvested this year. So all the flowering stems are still on it seeds. Oh, there's still lots of seeds in these seed heads. There you go. They usually are bigger than that. These may not be viable, but it produces a lot of seed. This seed will fall all over the plastic. And I see other, I see little ones here that, oh, look at that. Little, little gar garlic uh, chive plants that have started. But once these get going, after a season, they turn out to be like this one. Here, take a look at that, right on the plastic. And if we harvest that up, we get a whole big clump, all the roots, very easy, nice, nice soil on top of the plastic. And we can just box that up like that, put it in a four inch pot and sell it, give it away or use it to replant somewhere else. But chives, great plant. Great to have fresh, great to dry, very easy to dry. General rule, if you're gonna pick it though, pick everything. So if we were harvesting this clump, we would just grab the whole clump like that and either with the harvest knife or with a good pair of scissors, just take everything, take the dry stems out and we're ready to go. So consider chives as one of your top 10. Very, very easy to grow and a great complement to your fruit trees. Definitely in the top 10, but like most perennial vegetables, not at its best in the summer. Remember, perennial vegetables live all year round and so they can really be regarded as very quick spring vegetables at their best early in the spring and late in the fall. Great to combine with an annual vegetable production in your garden. But this one, this is the Richter's herb. 
uh, selection of sorrel. It doesn't go up to flower, so it keeps producing leaves. Even in the heat of the summer, it will still have these really nice leaves. You want to add spice to your salad? Just chop up one of these babies and it adds lemony zest. Lemony zest. To your whole salad. Perennial vegetable par excellence, sorrel. Here's my number one out of 10 garlic chives. I love this plant. I could eat it every day. If you like garlic, you'll love garlic chives. Here it is in flower. Here are some just before they open and they're good this way too. Mmm, I'm going to have nice garlic breath now. The best way to harvest them, just grab the whole clump and cut. There you go. A nice clump of garlic chives. Use them. Don't worry about that. That'll regrow just like this. And you can cut it two, three, four times in the season. Fantastic. Anywhere you're using garlic, use garlic chives. You'll get the same taste. And notice, look how flat that leaf is. So it's a flat leaf, better than chives, garlic chives. Anywhere you use garlic, use garlic chives and you get the greenery and the taste. Look at that. It will reseed very easily. So once you have a few, they flower and then they produce seeds. So oh, here's a seed head from last year. So these seed heads will produce lots of seeds. The seeds fall and you'll get young garlic chive plants and it just keeps growing. Number one plant in my top 10 garlic chives. Get it, eat it, use it. So we saw how important it is to get your ground layer plants. My top 10 won't be your top 10. I'm in Canada, Agriculture Canada Zone 5, USDA Zone 4. Choose your own plants for your top 10. Try them out. Grow what you like, most of all. And have fun. Get growing. See you next week. Hey, please subscribe and check out our latest video. I'm going to take you down low. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, last time, last time. Don't rip it up. Last time. <laughs> Doors this. I'm sure that the other ones were good enough. This week?